Hey everyone, how are y'all doing? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own faux chocolate eggs and bunnies. I used to find them years ago as decorations to put out for Easter, and you don't really find these anymore. So I thought, well, let me try and make my own. So let me show you what you're going to need. And Dollar Tree does still have these items. They have the big styrofoam bunny. And they have a package of eight of the small styrofoam bunnies. And they have a package of eight of the styrofoam eggs. You're going to need a paintbrush. I'm going to use, these are from the Dollar Tree also. Oopsie. And I'm just going to use the smallest one. And you'll need brown paint. I actually got this at Dollar Tree. And it's called Rich Art, and it says Premium Acrylic Paint. So we'll see. And you're going to need Mod Podge. Got this at Dollar Tree. And something to hold up your styrofoam after you put the brown on it, the chocolate. So I got these bamboo skewers, or hundred in a pack for a dollar or dollar twenty-five now. Sorry about that. And I'm going to use this container just to put those skewers in once I put the styrofoam on them so they can dry. And I just put one of these blocks in here to hold them in. And I believe that's it. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to pour some Mod Podge in. Get it off to the side so it pours easier. Just pour it right in. I think I forgot to tell you you're going to need a paper cup or something just to mix this with. Pour a good amount in there. Okay. And we're going to pour our chocolate paint in there. And I'm just going to do this. Just trying it out to see how much to mix. It would be really long to mix this paint with. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this and mix the paint with the Mod Podge. This is just going to be trial and error for right now. This is my first time doing this with you guys. Get that mixed up really good so we don't see the white Mod Podge in there. See how you can still see the white? Just keep mixing it. And then try to get it off the side of the cup too. I also suggest you have a little package of wipes just because you're dealing with paint and you're probably going to get it on your fingers and they have these two at Dollar Tree for $1.25. Well, I'm going to show you I did start one while I was off camera and it is browner than it's looking on my camera screen but it looks cute and I would definitely say it takes two layers and if you have kids or grandkids make sure to tell them that these are not real chocolates because it looks real. Alrighty, so I decided to start off with the big one. So just take your skewer, stick it right inside, pretty far up in there. So hopefully it stays still. Get your paint mixture and your paintbrush. There's something stuck to my paintbrush. There we go. Get a good amount on your paintbrush. And just start painting it. Pretty thick coats. I guess I keep those wipes on hand, you're going to need them.
definitely going to need a second coat. Get in between the ears and the back of the neck down in here. Okay, get inside the ears, right there. This works out for me. This should look pretty cool when it's done. face, get those little eyeballs. I'm not sure if this is something you can do with kids or not because I'm not sure it doesn't say on the Mod Podge that it's non-toxic. Older kids definitely small ones I'm not sure about. You might want to check into that if you decide to do this with some kids. Small kids. You just get it on there pretty thick, not too thick that it's going to run. You just get every inch that white styrofoam covered. Let's get the tippy top of that ear. And some of the lighting is looking like it's white, but it's not actually white. It's just the shine from the Mod Podge. I used both matte and glossy. I mixed both together of the Mod Podge. Now, believe it or not, this bigger one is easier to do than that little one I just showed you that I already did. I mean, the little one wasn't that hard, but this seems a little easier because you can get it into everything better. It's looking pretty cool. We got some that's dripping down here underneath, so just grab that, hit it with the paintbrush. Okay, I'm just going to finish this side, and then I will be right back, and we can do an egg together. Okay, this side is pretty covered. Bottom is all covered now on this side. I think it's looking pretty cool as long as it stays like this. Alrighty. I'll finish this side up and I'll come back with an egg. That looks pretty chocolatey, chocolatey to me right now. Okay, we're almost done with the big one. Now, if kids can use this, I think it'll be really fun. Some, a different way of coloring eggs this year. <laughs> okay. Let me do the little one, and then we will let these guys dry, and I'll come back and do a second coat. Hopefully this works out the way I'm thinking in my head. 
in my little noggin. Make sure to get all that styrofoam covered. I mean, heck, if you even wanted to use another color, you could. I was just thinking chocolate. And then I saw this in the Dollar Tree. And it says premium acrylic, we'll see. And it looked like the perfect chocolate color. Okay, that one looks like it's pretty covered. Get back over this one. Our bunnies are over there drying. I'll show you them real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna stick this right in my container. And I will show you what it looks and like. And here's everybody with their first coat drying. So I'm gonna leave them to dry for a while. And I will be back when they're dry. Get a second. Alrighty, coat. so here's the big bunny. Let's give it a second coat. Brown looks a little different than it originally did. Okay. Let's get it all these places, these crevices. Oopsie. I'm going to hold this still with the two fingers underneath. It's a little easier now that we have one coat on. Actually moving a little better. Doesn't seem to be leaving as many brush strokes. Shouldn't say that and jinx myself. Looks pretty good. You get inside here. Get this face. All over her nose and his chest. I don't know why I'm assuming it's him. Could be a her. Okay. This side looks pretty covered. Let's see. A little bit more right here in the front. All right, let's flip it over. I'm gonna try to hold it still as best I can. Okay. I love the way the eggs came out. They look like you could eat them. Don't want to do that. Okay, get underneath. All right, get underneath the ears and let's do the back. And my stomach just growled. Just had a pasta dinner, a healthy pasta dinner. Prima pasta primavera, whole wheat pasta, and a lot of vegetables. Okay, all right. I'm gonna finish this one. Okay, let me show you the eggs. They look delish. <laughs> Oh, there's a few spots. Like, this is pretty cool, the way this dried. Both of them, it dried more at the top. 
So I guess it ran. Well, it didn't really run down because the stick's not really covered between the two eggs. So I'm going to give these guys a second coat. Okay. Here we go. Top part I don't think really needs a second coat, but I'm going to do it anyway. Get it nice and covered. Okay, that one is about covered. I'd say it's definitely covered. Let's see. Let's do the top one. Okay, I'm turning this as I'm painting it, spinning it with my fingers. Okay, the bottom one looks, still looks pretty good. There's one spot that looks like it could use a little bit more paint. Right there. And the top one looks pretty covered. Okay, put that back in our little holder. Them, till them dries. <laughs> I'm right, such a dinghy. I had this Easter Bunny fabric for a backdrop and I should have had that up there the whole time instead of the whales and dolphins. <laughs> but oh well, it looks cute now. So I just wanted to show you what the eggs and the bunnies look like after two coats of paint. So the eggs look really cool. It really adhered to them nicely. They look like real chocolate. I'm still going to put a third coat on, but as far as the bunnies, now the big bunny, it looks pretty good, but you can see spots. Let me see. Let me shut this light off and see if you can see better. You can see spots in it, like right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a few spots, like in the face. So I'm going to go over it with a third coat, and even the little bunny. The little bunny needs some help. So the little bunny has a few spots too that needs going over. Okay, so we're going to paint those. So let me do this little one and the eggs real quick. I won't do the whole big one so you don't have to sit here and watch. But let me do the little one and make it right up here. And we are going to coat him up. All right. Coat this side. We want to get him covered up. So he doesn't need a fourth coat. Okie doke. I think we're good on the bunny. Let's see. Do his little bunny butt. I don't know why little bunny butts are so popular. At the Dollar Tree, they have a lot of bunny butt things. But, okay. Hopefully that ought to do it. Alright, let me do the eggs. It don't really need too much. Okie dokie, here's the eggs. Eggs seem to really like this. It's really adhering to them. 
I don't know whether it's just because it's one smooth surface with no divots like the bunny. Okay, that looks good. I think we're all covered. Make sure you get the top and the bottom. And let's do the little one. Hopefully this is it. I don't know if I told you that I used the, I originally used the, the uh, matte and gloss Mod Podge, but this time I made a new batch and I just used the gloss and the paint. Okay, is that covered? Let's see. Looks good. You guys think Looks pretty good? This big one looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna let this dry, and I will be back. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that! Third coat of paint and Mod Podge worked excellent, and I cheated a little. It's beautiful outside today. It's 80 degrees. So I took them outside so they would dry quicker. And it's nice and dry. And they are so smooth. I am freaking in love. <laughs> they came out so good. Now the two in the back, I'm doing a TikTok on this too. So those aren't complete yet. But these three in the front, the two eggs in the middle, and the bunny on each side, that's the one that I've been working on for you guys. So let me show you even an even closer look. Look at that. Are they adorable? I love the way they came out. Oh my gosh, they look just like their chocolate. The eggs and the bunnies. I'm going to put them in a little type of arrangement or basket or something so you can see them in there. But I think they look so cool. And I'm glad I used the glossy. Like I said, there's a matte. Mod Podge that you can use too. So let me display them somehow and I will oh be back. Oh my gosh, guys, they turned out so cool. Let me show you the big bunny. We're outside. I'm not going to leave them outside. But look at the big bunny and the little eggs and the little bunnies, and they're so smooth to the touch. Here's the big egg. What do you guys think? I mean, you can do this with any styrofoam figures. So I hope you guys like this video. I want to thank you so much for watching. To my subscribers, I appreciate you guys so much. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I hope you will be. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.